Fourth example, find the lateral area and the surface area of the cylinder. Now, in the same way as our prism, if we make a cut right here and um, lay it out flat, then it'll just be a rectangle. Whereas this is the circumference because this measures from here all the way around here. And that's the circumference. So it's 2 pi r. And then this is the height, which is 9. So 2 pi r, 2 times 2 times pi times the radius is 4, that's the length, the width is 9, multiply that together, so 2 times 4 times 9, you get, let me just, Yeah, two hundred twenty-six point one nine, and I'm just rounding to the nearest hundredths. So two places after the decimal. <clears throat> Excuse me. That would be the lateral area. Now, you can probably just leave it as um, just in in pi, <clears throat> if you can. So two times four times nine. That's 2 times 4 is 8, times 9 is 72. So you can probably leave it as 72 pi units squared. Okay, but um, otherwise, if you have to solve it out, then you can just use your calculator. 72 times the pi, which is 3.14, right? Okay, so this would be the answer for the lateral area. And then to find surface area, we're going to find the area of the base, which is a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi times r, the radius is 4 squared, which is um, pi, or 3.14, times 16. So, 16 times pi is 50.27 units squared, and that's the area of one of the circles, right? But since I have two of them, I need to multiply this by two. So my surface area is my lateral area plus two times the area of the base, and I'm going to put a capital B there to represent the area of the base. So this is seven or 226, I'm going to use this number up here, okay, and 19 hundredths, plus 2 times 3.27. And then using your calculator, solve that out. And you should get 326 point seventy two in units. Don't forget units squared. Okay. That is the surface area. Okay, well that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.